Thank you very much, Mr. Maxwell. Uh, any additional comments? Rick Marshall, any comments? Hearing none, um, I think we do need a motion to set a public hearing on this item. Do I hear one? I'll move. Since you and I are a minority and couldn't kill us if we tried. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I would move that we set it for a public hearing at our next meeting date. Seconded. Okay, uh, no further discussion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We have a hearing date set unanimously for the 20th. Now, yeah, uh, this concludes our regular business. And before we uh, take a vote to uh, to uh, disband for the evening, uh, we do have a very, we've had a light night tonight. We finished on time, which is wonderful. But um, what we've done is we've pushed a tremendous amount off to September. And I guess what I'm going to ask with the lack of Steve being here, Jerry, if you can talk to Steve about starting to think about an agenda right off. Mm -hmm. uh, we may want to think about taking some non-hearing items, if this is possible. I don't know if it's even possible. Some non-hearing type items and putting it to our first Tuesday meeting. Is that going to be a possibility? First Tuesday of September. September, yeah. It's going to be a problem because of Labor Day. I mean, yeah. Any problem with the uh, council? <coughs> they, they no. Well, they're sending it back for... Um, they're on sending our, it backwards, some minor changes. You mean on our rules? Our 10 o'clock rules. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what well, the result they was. they really did, did not indicate one way or another what they felt about the 10 o'clock rules. It, it, it seems as if they were more uncomfortable with the 7, seven o'clock, given that everything else starts at 7.30. If we can finish at 10, that's kind of our discretion, was what I got out of what they were saying that night. Mm. Oh, I, okay. So I think a letter from them will be forthcoming. To us? Yeah. And um, they will. Uh, Some didn't care for that. But, but they didn't take a vote. I, say, I worked as hard as I could to keep that. Yeah. They, didn't any, take, they didn't take an official vote uh, one way or the other. Then. Yeah. They, they didn't indicate. Okay. Uh, Dan, I just connected on something else. I just connected on what the 20th is. I think you gave me a little hint there on being a minority, but that is, that is Cole Nidre Night. Um, I will not be here, definitely. I can't, okay. So there will be two members of the board who will not definitely be here the 20th. Uh, I don't know what that creates in terms of a problem. This is our high holidays, in case anybody didn't know. It's Gum Kipper, and he starts the evening before. Even though it's showing on your calendar, it's Wednesday. The holiday really starts at sundown the night before. So we will not be here. Um, that leaves us one sh one away from a uh, potential quorum problem. Yeah. And okay. this is on the 20th? On the 20th. Well, wouldn't some um, of the people who come before us also be involved? I don't know. In that religious yeah, that's, that's holiday? Not, that's a good one. I don't know. You know, I mean, I, when I lived it is, in New it York, is the, the most schools closed yeah. and everything on those religious holidays. It is the most important, of one of the most it important. Is. Very sacred and... It seems to me. Okay, what hearings do we have uh, scheduled? Do we have a Goldcrest, Spinnaker Heights, Balfour. Balfour. <laughs> we get four of them. Uh, at least those, and then fish and this fish and fish. Isn't there somebody we left off? How about last year, last week's mm -hmm. agenda, last month's agenda? Although Mary made a very good point, maybe the realistic thing is to be sure that uh, Alice is going to be here. Yeah. Uh, had a, I think we thought your point was good about the audience. Yeah. yeah. And the people who come yeah. before us. Yeah. We get four people. Yeah. It's tough to change. We're in a cycle, so it's, it's tough to make a, a change. And I certainly wouldn't want to... Uh, Indicate that that's uh, that's necessary because it isn't. But to your point of people coming before us, that would put a limitation. I don't know who might be affected by that. Well, it yeah. is a it is a, a religious holiday, yeah. and I would be very much in favor of changing the date of the meeting. Bump it back a week. 
to the 27th? Anything yeah. would be. Or the other way. The other way. Would yeah. the other, but given given the the length of our agenda for that meeting. 27th is zoning board. Zoning board. And then I'd have a, they would have this room with the tape machine and okay. four Monday public tonight. hearings. That would be all right. Is, is there any, do we have any way of accessing a town calendar so we know whether I Monday? Can walk in the yeah. Debbie's? Yeah, Debbie's calendar. You're going to check. September 19th, you want to look at? Yeah. We'd have to do some special advertising so we don't get people showing up on Tuesday night. And letters. And letters. I think yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we should hold it when everyone can participate. That's yeah. right. And that one might cut out a lot of people. It, it might oh, cut out. I think it yeah, definitely that one would. That one would affect a lot of people. Now that I think about it. Whether we can use calendar. Monday night. The town clerk has case. a calendar of who's using this building. Well, well Gene is all right. I want to worry about it. I want you to mention. Uh, in the Sunday paper, they had an interview with Pritham Saints. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one who was here. And he was quoted. I don't know if you saw this, Jerry. I read the article. He was yeah. quoted as saying he was going to begin marketing the single units at the Inn by the Sea. He said, because those are condominiums. And yes, I, I don't know whether we had a fast one pulled on us or not, but basically what I thought we did was say you can, you can call it whatever you want, and you can make more money selling those things as condominiums, fine, but it's a hotel, it's going to be run as a hotel, and the owners can't go there. Uh, and he drew a distinction in that article between the single family units and the inn. We did not draw that distinction. No, we didn't, but I wondered whether somehow we weren't as careful as we should have been. Thinks that, that, that it was the end. No, no, there should be no question what he thinks, but whether somehow our words uh, allowed him to claim that that, that was a loophole. If I remember correctly, we we retained a right to audit his operation to make sure that those were really transient units. I, I wonder. Have, have we been doing that? You know, Jerry? No, we have not. I, I wonder if someone ought to uh, uh, at least communicate with him because it was very strange. I don't know how many of you read that. So I did. I read sell those, it. begin marketing them because, of, and what I thought he was going to do was make sure he sold the rooms in the inn as condominiums. It's something that I think before we go much further, we ought to yeah. make sure. Since he said it, I don't know how, how we do it. Whether we have Jerry writing the letter. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but it may be appropriate for the chairman to ask through the town for the town to sure. take a look at that same article and then. Communicate with the attorney for Great Bay, yeah. Yeah. or send the planning board down to Key West for right. a couple of weeks. I'm <laughs> heading down that way in a couple of weeks. I'll look in. <laughs> um, can we do that, Jerry? Well, yeah, we can request. Uh, request Tom Lee. The, the leases were all executed. Uh, there must be some language in there that prohibits uh, this kind of a thing to happen. I mean, even though he has said it in a newspaper article, it doesn't mean it's so. He's talked about this marketing yeah. strategy. Yeah. strategy well, and he may, and he may not have been. Well, maybe the easy thing to do is, uh, I don't keep that stuff on this long run. I'm sure you're going to do I do. Maybe we could just pull out that meeting, the, the documents, and assure ourselves that maybe he doesn't think he's got some loophole there. Mm -hmm. uh, feel foolish if he said, in somehow he thinks that the end of the building is there. That might be the easy way to. We could propose. I'd be happy to have the board to look at it as a lawyer and see whether there's any grounds, and maybe even propose a letter that you think. No better legal advice. Before you go, Jane, um, what was the story on the night? I don't see anything on your calendar. Night of okay, then can we make a decision here as a board that we're going to switch our regularly scheduled meeting in September to September 19th, Monday evening? So moved with the provision that all those that were here this evening that we set public hearing or that are on the agenda be notified in writing that will be on the 19th rather than on the 20th. And also any planning board members that are not here tonight also get a notice so that they can plan their schedule to be here on the 19th. So we will have our regular meeting on the 19th in September. You want to vote on that? Yeah. Uh, any further discussion? We have a second. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? 
We will have a meeting on the 19th. And also, uh, just as a point of information, if Steve or somebody could take a look at this, the agenda and see what we can do about yeah, we'll the first, right first Tuesday, we may want to switch some stuff just to unload that, uh, that 19th. Uh, the, the first Tuesday, though. Uh, yeah, we have, we have problems have there. Day. So Six might be a problem. Six might be a problem. We've got a – September's a problem month. Yeah. Uh, that's not Labor Day. It's the day after Labor Day. Labor Day after that is the 5th. Yeah. So why would the 6th be a problem? Well, there may be people that are not here. <laughs> yeah. You may want to poll to see who's going to be here on the 6th. Is the 6th going to be a problem? No. It's the day after Labor Day. day after Labor Day? Yeah. yeah. Doesn't sound like it's a problem. That may be a potential workshop or meeting night. It sounds like September we're going to need it. So you're offering for the sixth, possibly. Just keep that the same. If we ha if we do that on the sixth, is that any problem for people getting in their information? It may be. That's why I've asked oh, yeah. Jerry to take a, take a look at the agenda. There may be some items that are point of business that don't require that that we could move into that time slot. And. Yeah, there may be people that want to get into the time slot earlier, too. Mr. Chairman, just to make maybe a point, and maybe it's not worthwhile. When we set up the original workshop meetings, we made a concerted attempt and effort not to burden those planning right. periods of time with agenda items. Um, and I guess I would rather go later on a night where we have agenda items than to intrude on that planning purpose that we have for the workshops. That's just one member suggesting that we don't burden our workshops. It's going to be very difficult over the next few years when we have scheduled workshops not to have agenda items in them and, that, and then be having two meetings a night, mm. uh, two meetings a month with full agenda yeah. items. We, we, we could certainly head in that direction very and easily. I, and I'd like to jealously guard that workshop session if we could do that. Yeah. So noted. So I'm just trying to get the staff to think about next month which sounds very, very tight right now. Right. Do we have any other actions to come before the board? Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Second it. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you.